Well, what we can give him is European unity. What we can give him is continued support to Ukraine. What we can give him is uh, the financing that the, the Ukrainian population uh, deserves. Um, we can uh, come to an agreement where, of course, if there is need for transparency, if there is need to make sure that the money is well spent, yes, that is, uh, that is a legitimate question and we can obviously answer to, uh, to that. But the agreement that we need to make is within the MFF package. MFF package, which of course has a main component on Ukraine, but also financing on, uh, on migration, financing on the cost of next-gen EU and so on. So there is a lot of things on the table and it's to the benefit of everyone to come to, uh, come to an agreement. Did you receive any signs from you from the last couple of hours of days that you have accepted the simple deal? Well, yeah, there's been contact. But in the end, what, uh, what is important is what is being said around, uh, around the table. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident that this time again we will find a way to be able to come to an agreement. Everyone in the same room or not everyone in the same room, that was how it happened uh, last time. But I think it's crucial that after a few weeks where we were able to, to think about how to come to, uh, to an agreement is that we now, uh, that you now conclude S27. We've had difficult councils before, but in the end we always came to an agreement that showed that unity is there and that I think is a crucial one. Can you also talk about the peace facility? Do you 